Hi everybody, sorry it's been so long since you've heard from me. Um, my whole life changed um, since my last vlog. My last vlog was a 101010 uh, discovery. Ah, I was so excited to get all that stuff, but in since then I have um, transferred from uh, working on the Oregon coast, kind of quit that job, and then I um, started up again in my old job at downtown Seattle and moved back home. I uh, broke my lease on the Oregon coast and um, all just to be with my husband on a daily basis. I missed him. I missed him a lot. And it's a good thing. <laughs> it's a, it wasn't a career move, but it was definitely a, a life, a good life move, a personal move. And um, I have just loved being back home, especially with my husband. And some news we are both on a round of hcg so this is his first round this is my fifth round uh this is day 13 and i have lost a total of 8.4 pounds and only i i only gained 0.8 pounds in loading but i've uh, learned to be an expert at loading and that is i really don't do any carbs um, when i load mostly fatty foods and uh so now that my husband is um, doing this round with me, he has just been wildly successful um, for a total of 10 pounds so far. Uh, he did stall for three days, which was weird, and he even gained one day, and so did I. I gained one day too, and it was the day after we both ate um, hard-boiled eggs for lunch. We did um, three eggs, only one was a whole egg and the other two were just egg yolks, but we've been trying to put together lunches for when we go to work every day um, so that we have, you know, plastic Ziploc bags with stuff in them. And uh, we got tired of chicken, so we thought, um, we, you know, he had asked about eggs, and I said, yeah, I guess it is. You know, I'd never ate, eaten eggs on my rounds before, but we went ahead and hard-boiled them the night before and then we both ate them the next day and had a gain. So uh, eggs are out for us. Plus, when he was stalling, it was oranges. I knew I couldn't eat beef or oranges on um, my uh, P2 and now we know that he can't eat oranges and neither of us can eat eggs. So that's what's so wonderful about the scale and weighing ourselves every day and I did diligently weigh myself every day in P4. Um, I gained probably eight pounds from, uh, no, I actually only gained two pounds from LDW for my last round through the holidays. However, I have to report that after my fourth round in P3, I kept losing. I lost another five pounds and I wasn't trying to, and I was thrilled because I was like so close to my, in, you know, final goal weight. So that when I, um, gained through the holidays, I actually gained eight pounds over what my, uh, last my lowest weight through p3 was and I was unhappy with that so I was going to do another round anyway and he wouldn't do a round without me now he is not doing injections like I am he's doing drops and he's doing very well with them I um, pull in the amount in his syringe every night and I put it in the refrigerator for him and he'll uh, twice a day and he just puts it under his tongue for about 15 minutes um, uh, at least a half an hour before he eats or drinks. And um, same thing at night. And then we're both, um, I, you know, we've just realized that we are eating so well on this diet. And it's because we are using all of the recipes that I formulated all through my first few rounds and have gotten just extremely creative. Like last night we had um, halibut that we uh, broiled and we um, grill, ground up grassini and kind of sprinkled out to, on top and then broiled it the last few minutes and let it get really crispy. And then we um, braised some cabbage that we had um, cut up with some dill seed and some lemon juice and um, sea salt and pepper and turmeric. Oh, it was so good. Oh my gosh. We were just like in heaven. And um, and then tonight we, we uh, did some broil crisped uh, onion. We each had a whole Walla Walla onion and uh, we uh, ground up grassini again and did shrimp in the grassini and then um, sauteed it in a little bit of MCT oil. So kind of fried, not really deep fried, but so we had kind of had crispy fried shrimp and then the um, crispy onions. It was so good. Oh my gosh, we were eating so well. And so we agreed that on P3 and then for the rest of our lives that we're going to 
eat this same diet, but um, for instance, in P3, we will mix vegetables, we'll increase our protein, um, we'll uh, introduce fats as well. Um, but we'll still use MCT oil, we'll still use coconut oil, we will use olive oil, and um, and butter, limited amounts of butter, and we're going to eat bacon and avocados, and you know, we'll introduce more to the menu that we have now, but we are loving this, loving this diet, and for some reason, I just get more creative in the kitchen, and probably because we're so limited with the food that we can eat on HCG, but I have to tell you, um, we are both feeling very healthy, and he has had this skin rash that I believe um, for all these years has been caused by a um, skin yeast infection, and we've never been able to uh, lick this um, for him. He's been on this topical steroid for years that um, I tried to get him into my natural path to get rid of that topical steroid, but he was just so dependent on it, so he agreed to not use it for this entire round. And then through P3, I'm going to introduce him to some um, alkaline foods that I believe will also knock out that uh, that that yeast, as well as um, uh, the product called FOS FOS, which um, will help build up his bacteria or his flora in his intestine, and also should kill off that yeast. And so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Plus, he's hoping that after this round that he will quit smoking. I'm hoping as well. So he's waiting till after the round. Everybody pray with me on that one. I'm just hoping that will work. And um, I will keep you informed. I'm not going to be doing daily vlog on this um, P2 like I used to do on my other rounds. But I am going to report on both of us and maybe I'll even get him on camera. We will see. And anyway, it's uh, any um, how it's good to be back, you guys. And uh, for everybody who is on P2, happy releases. For everybody who's on P3, happy stabilization. And everyone on P4, uh, grand happy maintenance. Peace out.